And we're back to quote fucking who's the guy? Who's the guy? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Randy in the morning. Randy in the morning. We would have been here a few minutes sooner, but oh, let me tell you, some germaphobe over here. Is that what I am? A germaphobe? Is that what I am? A germaphobe. <laughs> I just might have a... Tell them how bored you were without them the past fucking hour and a half. No, no, it's been great conversation. Gino is uh, just as simple as I had thought. I had to piss. Hey, why don't you take, I had why to don't piss. You take a long walk? <laughs> is that a short beer? Hold on. I want, look, it's a short beer, everyone. Who's a prop comic now? We are now in Maine proper. <laughs> We're in Maine, and we're going to stop tonight in Bangor, Maine. Yes, tell them why. <laughs> like the banger. We're going to go, because we're tired. You no, know, because there's no real hotel beyond Bangor, unless we want to go into Canada. I'll tell you what I'm not. I'm not pissed, because I already did. <laughs> so, Cindy, let's say, we're, let's say we're driving. We're all taking a nice drive. And I say, Carl, I'm just going to piss in this bottle with a nice, with a huge girthy spout for my, for my member. Right? Right? And then he says, well, are you really doing it? Why would I not do it? Why would I not pee to save us time? Self-respect. And then he said self-respect. And I was scared for a minute because I thought he was saying I, I had no respect for him. I have mad respect for Carl. But you, so you're. I was mad about it. You're, were you? No. You're on a road trip and you're not going to take a piss to save the team time. Uh, correct. I'm not taking that one for the team. You just pull over and pee. No. No. So we have about a two-hour ride left to the hotel. Oh, by the way, we don't have a bottle of pee in the car. I made sure of that. Yeah, and then he's got to pull over to dump the... <laughs> stop fixing it. Stop it. Carl, stop it. It's got to be correct. So then... Uh, so then... Gino is a man of his word. Stupid as it may be. Yeah. Uh, did you get to Scully yet? No. Um, so the point I'm making is... Why wouldn't you pee in a bottle, seal it up airtight, and just let it be in the car with you? B, I said, not B. Carl's got to pull over on a highway so we can dump out the pee because Captain Fantastic, anal queen, oh, that's Kate Meany, can't be in the same car with a bottle of urine. You know, I'm still in the car with a bottle that has trace part particles of pee. It's urine. I thought that you should just urine. Out. Out. How do you not have a urine? Urine. I do. I do. Okay. I have this whole routine. I'm in the pee club. And I love the community. Really? Yeah, and I use urine a lot. There you go. So we were driving to, uh, and because again, and this would drive my brother nuts and Keon as well. So I'm like, we're gonna drive to Oakfield or Crawford, all these towns that were just along the route, right? So we could get closer and not have a long drive tomorrow. But the only fucking plausible hotel that's not off the proverbial beaten path, Carl, is the uh, is era era in bank. So we're li you gotta stop, Justin. Who's in Germany? She's upset. So as I was saying, um. <laughs> When did it fucking hold on? I, I know what happened. I do. I know what happened. I know. So you're threading that screw. What's that? Gino really knows how to screw, guys. Now watch this. I'm going to tell you. Ready? You're going to you're going to talk to the fellow. He's going to tell me how it's done, even though he's showing me. Nobody can see this. By the way, it was Gino who put the car on kilometers. It was. It was. I got it. It's fine. I just don't see why it's got such a cunt about it. Hold on. You're gonna, it's going to be quick. There we go. God damn it. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. hold on. I'm going to give him another crank. Yeah, that's... There you go, buddy. I hit a button there. Be careful. No, 
Now we can focus and I can take another fucking well-deserved piss. All right. You got to drink a little more. You got to make the piss. Is there whiskey in the car? Yes. Because if we're... No, no. That's a lie. Well, <laughs> we will... In and I took a bite. 45 minutes, we'll be drinking that whiskey. Fine. Anymore. Fine. <laughs> it's an argument of two bottoms. <laughs> it's me. It's me, Joey Dago. Um, shout out to Sid Seraph who, who threw us a twenty dollars super chat at the end of the last stream, and oh, I didn't it, it mentioned. I yeah, did. It was a buzzer beater, and I thank you so much for that. And I want to thank everyone because, as a result of your generosity, Captain snore a lot. Doesn't I don't have to hear him snore, and you don't have to know that I pee. You don't have to know that I piss. Oh, they have a facility at the hotel, yes. and then you can even flush it. Nope. I bought Taking that bottle earplugs. Taking that bottle with me. Nope. What are, what about, what are, how am I going to recoup that cost? Well, I don't understand. No, we're not doing that. Very Medici in the house. Of course, you, of course, want you to appreciate the rancid homosexuals who are responsible for the widespread comprehension of the vector theory of disease. I don't know. Uh, Missy B, how soon until Gino spends the rest of this car ride in the trunk? Like you, and by the way, shout out to Missy, who's watching on Twitter. Thank you. See, like, even with a piss in a car ride, if it's a long ride, it's been done. Not every this woman, woman just did. Is he? Uh, 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 Captain Miserable Gino and Carl went up to hand the both with a buck and a quarter. Gino came back with 250. Oh, I'm supposed to read it. It's dice, it's dice. Oh, I got Jack dice. and Jill went up the hill with each of the buck. Dice. You do your own dice. Are you the one oh, by the way, here's that the picture. No, Gino, don't. Oh, gross. You want the, the, the picture? No, okay, here's my uh my dice. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, hey. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, these fucking chickens. <laughs> Get the fucking chickens. I like it. Get back on the baby. Let's get that baby pool ticker going. With the cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Pretty good. Thank you. Pretty good. Roll the dice with that joke. So we are now looking at a buck 40 ride, uh, 7 o'clock arrival, which is fine. So we have breakfast. We don't have to deal with any of this fucking shit weather. Yeah, we, hit, we get up early tomorrow. We get to the Hotel Sydney downtown. Now look, little, we have a little I, lost time. No, we don't. We have two separate rooms. Now look, I have done the drive. I have done the driving today, and that's fine. But I think I'm really going to have to split it with you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so you're right. I'll have to help tomorrow. I could even drive today, but you know, I'm manning. Someone's got a man. Well, let's see if I get exhausted. Now an hour thirty nine. All right. And we got we, our logo up there. We, oh, we do have our logo up. Great. <laughs> there was the other logo. <laughs> Anthony Cumia. I hope this sounds like Thelma and Louise. Anthony, I don't know if... Uh, Wait, if, this is the real Anthony Cumia. Yeah, yeah. I'm on his ring. <laughs> but Anthony, we stole a hat for Frankie. We're going to yeah, put... Show the, hold on. Do you have the hat? If you're still Where's in the here. mug? Well, this is my mug. I'm giving him this mug. But Anthony... Anthony. We'll be a coffee... In that mug. Let us go wear the mug. Put the hat up. If we can get Frankie to wear this hat, oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. So Joey Jr., as I said, our fuck what the fuck is this doing? Uh if we can get him, why are the comments not changing? Why does he keep saying it helps? It's it's like our phone wants it to end in film and Louise. Hi, current comment. Which one's uh, the there we go. Kid, because I'm not that one. Uh, by the way, you know Anthony. And I, I forgot the other thing is Anthony. You know he saw Missy. It's like give me your phone. 
He's like, hold on, I want to call him Thelma and Louise. We did that bit, Ant. We did. Listen, can I sub for your show, please? Would you be sick? Would you get sick for a night? Oh, my God. Now, where was I? Oh, so, uh, sorry, I lost it like it matters. Um, yeah, Anthony, you're missing this great fucking weather. Hey, we, did he ever see my audition tape? We were talking about this all week. Please hold. Great. Um, you need like to a, show him my audition tape. What's your audition tape? Oh, he, I'm sure he saw that. He never misses in hot water. Oh, yeah, sure. It was uh, not uh, even when he's getting operated on. Exactly. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, but this is this is us just being men of our word. And I don't know how you got suckered into this. But uh, I volunteered. He I did. was very happy to do this. This is important for the show. You've been promising it for four years to bring. I have I promised it to him forever. I ever just not said, Frankie, I'm not coming up there because it was four years away. And now four years away is a week and a half. It's, it's three days. It's, it was implied that, she, you know, I don't know. It's just the right thing for the show. Oh, yeah. By and the way. Really, we were going to do. I remember the first time I was ever on. It was like right at the end of Aaron Berg. He was calling up. What was the place? In Sydney, trying to get a comedy gig booked there. Do I don't know. I that's when I found out it was on a Monday. And that's not going to work. I don't think he was actually calling the Sydney. Are you sure? It was on the phone. So it was so it was so many episodes ago. We hit twelve hundred, by the way. Shout out. Wow, Thank you, Chris Breckenridge, for the two seventy-nine Canadian. Is Keanu still alive or did six get revenge? Keanu fucking cowered at, uh pussied out. Uh that means two things. And she went to Frank and Chrissy's and uh pussied out. It means like when being yes. means prolapse. And and six stood triumphant on the bed. Now that was hilarious. Now, as I was going to say before. Uh, Shano, here's a few bucks for some Canuck cash. Enjoy and safe travels. Thank you, Shane. Now, here's the thing. Uh, and, oh, wait. I keep so doing... far, we've spent $40, I would say, in gas in total. Yeah. Thank God for the Prius. Yes, exactly. You know, do not drink. We're not going to make it, guys. I'm drinking my own piss. He never goes to waste in this make... car. I'm not going to make it. So what was I like saying? Call Saul. So this is what drives people like my brother nuts. And Joey Jr. asked how far is the destination. And as I was saying, we wanted to drive as close as we could get to the port. Close as we could get, crashing, is it? crashing, beloved America. And then, you know, because it's 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 like 17 hours total. So we didn't want to do seven and ten. We wanted to do nine and eight, eight, nine. Yeah. But the only but place can... the only place we could get a hotel. Excuse me, the furthest north or is the farthest? The farthest north. The far, because we're talking distance. The far, what's furthest? It's like the time. It's really involves time. The furthest we could draw. Look at this, yeah. And I'll say it. The farthest. The farthest north we could get and still get a uh, normal hotel room that wasn't 80 miles off the route yeah. was Belger, which now that I look at this weather, thank fucking God. It's Bangor. I just felt like there was more to <laughs> I was waiting for Bang Moore to that joke. You think that's the setup? I think it's the punch. <laughs> uh, it's the punch, all right. It needs to be punched bang up. Whore, bang whore. Bang whore. So, again. This is not good content. This is classic. What, what else do we have to talk about? Classic in the sense that jokes have been done a million times. Call into Melton's show. Oh, I, I, what's his number, Captain Miserable? Send Melton the link. I should send Melton the link. Now you said should I send Melton the link? Maybe you can invite them. I mean, sure. I mean, kind of. We want to hang with Melton. God, this phone is so shitty small. Canadian slice. Is that Natopia again? No. Okay. Look at that. Uh, push up has forty bucks for a full tank of gas. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that nice? Well, I mean, it's only like a twelve. Challenge. I don't know. My son knows better than me. This is his car. But we're kicking ass on gas mileage. So far, I I mean, we filled up before I left. Did not. I put two. I put twenty dollars in. That's it so far. We've got uh, we're way over a half day. Cliff, what's the field, what's the Fairfield Inn and Banger? That's where he's suggesting we stay. We're already booked. Oh, Stephen King lives there. No way. 
No way. Rumble Cat loves Gino. Gino, Rumble Cat wins the internet. What did I miss with Rumble Cat? Jesus Christ, I can't be bothered. I think that um, Stephen King. Oh, Rumble Cat, I got you, buddy. It's an easy job, a midnight run. And if he gets this wimpy comedian back to Sydney in a couple days, then Frankie's five thousand dollars says it's a simple all day job. You'd have to be an idiot to find you could have walked him in backwards. That we we are flying now. <laughs> we are driving now. Driving, what is the plane? He doesn't like to fly. He doesn't like to fly, Jack. What the fuck does that mean? Fucking Rumble Cat wins the fucking internet. Rumble Cat wins the fucking internet. Thank you, buddy. It's a midnight run, for God's sake. You ever seen that movie? Of course I've seen that movie. Is this Rumble Cat number one? Put Rumble Cat number two on the phone. Fucking love him. Uh, Hobo Chili Recipe, you guys look like... Where'd I go? You guys look like the Tatora brothers on a road trip to find America's best spaghetti. Silly dagos. I'm not Italian. Watch, watch. I don't have one drop of Italian. Watch this segue. Well, I don't know about you, Hobo Chili recipe, but I had the best. I had the best. Uh, I, did, I had the best spaghetti last night. Uh, cooking with Kiki made her famous. Kiki's incredible bowls. You know, I amazing bowls. Five minutes. Swollen bowls and gorgeous bowls. At any rate, I'm so mad we didn't bring a couple. I really fucked the dog. Screwed the pooch. Uh, mated. Just oh wait, is it? Uh, Anthony's probably not in here anymore, but I'll put that down. Anthony, no, we were, we were, we were moving, we were moving, 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 moving. Uh, you, were, you were stealing her. Yes. Uh, Clintorious. You know what to do if you see Stephen King walking on the side of the road on a snowy night? Oh. Boom. Boom, he needs to get hit by a car. Playing good wop, bad wop. Um, Bradbury Mountain State Park. We are really deep in pain now. Deep in heart of me. So, yeah, so thank God uh, that we just decided to stay in Banger for the night. Thanks to your fucking super chats. I got to see your room. Fucking, I think it was like 75 bucks. Hey, each. that so is worth it. Guys, that really is why we both have separate rooms. So, thanks. <laughs> well, apparently, you snore really loud. Yes, I bought you a kid. I, I, I my old man, my old man, my old man used to snore. I, I could sleep through anything. But you don't have to. But the earpiece. Understand. Understand. My old man died in 2001. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. You had to be. How did your gay brother and black brother handle it? Let me guess. Your black brother didn't know what to do because they're not used to having a father to bury. And your gay brother, uh, he just cried like a girl, right? Did I get it? Did I get it? Damn it. How can I not get it? It could be ignorance. <laughs> Go on. Or, or, or nothing. You are how you're raised. You yeah. are how you're raised. Yeah. Okay? He was okay. very used to have it. All right. And I even shared mine with him. Keanu Thompson. Does Carl's family still hate you, baby? I sent you a what link, has woman. Changed? What I, has changed? I sent people a link. I sent Frankie a link. He's not even responding to us, but I told him. Keanu, come join us. Keanu, don't ever piss in a car with Carl. He gets very pissy. Trying to save us time. Where are we now? I, I will tell you where we are, Gina Marie. Thank you for asking. We're one mile south of Freeport. Am I correct? Yeah. Does that mean anything? Well, to her? no, it's 0.8 miles. Okay, so we're 0.8 miles outside of Freeport. Yeah, it's seven five. Okay, we are three quarters of a mile outside of Freeport. Well, we were. Now, now we're it's three sixteen. Oh, okay. See, see, see here. That's why we're the. That's a math joke. Uh, no, that was a math. She didn't hear any joke. Gino, come to Las Vegas for Hakamania. Get me a ride to drink and play some poker with you. I would love to drink with you, but let me tell you, Daddy sucks at poker. I would play blackjack. It would be a riot, Kyle, to uh, play a little blackjack with you and while we're drinking. Because, uh, Or I could just hand you the money I was going to bring to poker and give it to you directly so that you don't have to divide all my losses, which will come quickly at poker with the other people at the table. I like you, Kyle. I'll give you all the money. Not to mention, uh, I could go to Hackamania because, I, I mean, I don't know if I should go because the border protection that I've been clutching onto from Pat Dixon to save me 
from that sucker punching drug addict. It expired April 4th, Carl. Really? And I just That's sit. This is the first time I've left the house. This little fucking woman hitting faggot. Oh, I cannot wait to someday be in the same room as that meth head and hope he's low on Adderall. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we getting off topic? No, that is the topic of your show. That's the topic. Uh, Mr. Bisconti festooning multiple wrist plate bracelets so as not to appear menacing to border authorities. Well, we were already told our boy Chris, our boy, our girl Chrissy Mayer said, just act like you're a gay couple. I mean, what, what the second they go for the cafe search, I'll just look at Carl and go like, how come he gets one? Does Wait, that work? I, everyone's complaining all the time about a cafe search. I like me a good cafe search. Oh, uh, Stancil, no worries. Last time I had a cafe search, the dentist found two. Not bad. Only one was. I call a soft plug. And a bunch of. Uh, now, can I do it? <laughs> yes, please. The last time I had a cavity search was at the dentist. He found two. Only one was in my mouth. <laughs> See, just, you went this way, and then I got fucked by my dentist anyway. I did. Is that more dice? On the picture. You were you, were you the one? Are you not? What are, are you? You're trying to be. <laughs> I was watching when he was trying to be this bad. I was watching one in which he was in a fast food restaurant. They go, Andrew Dice cut me, and you could see in his face. He's, He's like, like Damn. Fuck. Yeah. fuck it. Yeah, I'm too t- I'm too fake. I'm too dumb. They were like, Yes, we want the picture. So funny. He's like, I'll and he was really like, I'll take it, but I can't film it. I would really I tried to watch his things to see where is he in Manhattan so I could go find him. Go, I was the guy who wanted the picture. But the thing is, he's really all over the place. Really? You can't. I, I was hoping, you know, to isolate him to Upper West Side. I could just walk around and find him. I don't understand why. Uh, Junior White, Laurel. Yeah, that's some kind of weird thing. That Laurel and Hardy, yeah, when you do it on Twitter. Bjorn Sanderstein, Bjorn Sanderstein into his A. I love when people weigh in on Twitter. Hey, vampire. How right the kisser? I don't get it though, Bjorn. I'm like behind. I'm over here now. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Killer Nader. Killer, uh, excuse me, Clintorius. Killer Nader was someone else. Uh, not sure how many loonies this will get you, but hopefully, thanks for the 10 bucks. But hopefully, it's enough for a grandpa burger or a couple frozen treats from the chill zone, which is definitely open. We, oh, by the way, we were talking to our boy. Uh, clip, uh, jump in, clip if you get a sec. Uh, and by the way, thank you so much for the. Uh, you gave Clip the link, right? I gave Clip the I link. See what he looks like that when we get to Frankie. Him. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You go, buddy. That's it. That's it. Come on in, Clip, so we can see what you look like. How do I do this? Clip. Clip. A filthy farmer. What is it? Thank you for the uh, two dollars super sticker. Um, but our boy Cliff fucking literally is talking to Frankie. And people, it's fucking on, okay? So if you saw In Hot Water Fry, uh, Thursday, uh, you saw Frankie's like, we were jokingly telling Frankie, it's like, all right, Frankie, we're going to meet you at the fucking, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna meet you Sunday morning at your house, <laughs> joking, you know, just to see what he would say. And he immediately said, he goes, Sunday night at Dooley's. But he meant it. And I will yeah, be there. No, he'll be there. And this is another. And he'll see the eclipse with us, too. I'm sure those two events he'll be with us. Yeah, not just that. Like, like I, I'll tell you, and I've been getting a lot of texts from people, and I appreciate it, but it, it, it's really incredible. Because they're like, I love that you're doing this. I can't believe you're doing this, all this stuff. And for all the joking around and ball busting we do, and even though some people's wives and children think we're using Frankie, uh, we love the guy. And there's no way I could do this. And then we spent the whole two weeks once we confirmed I was doing it. And thank you for being a part of it, Carl. It's like, and did I not say to you the last time you were on the show, we're like, Carl, you got to understand, we're not going to see the eclipse. There's a good chance we're not going to see Frank. But on Thursday, when I said, Frankie, we'll see you at your house Sunday morning. He goes, Su- he goes Sunday night at Dooley's. And he meant it. And I'm not saying, I guess I am saying that we know Frankie. We've been talking to him for four years. We've seen how far he's come along, how comfortable. And I looked at Jared and Steve, and they looked at me the same way. They're like, he's really going to do it with me. And now our buddy Cliff, who's in Sydney, we have a man on the inside. We sent fucking Boston contacts in. Heather, Heather, uh, Jason and Heather, the ones who sent Anthony Cumia, the fucking, uh, the night daddy went to jail book. These are fucking genuine compound bands. 
They fucking are driving up to meet us. I have a feeling other fans will surprise us there, especially now that we know the itinerary one. We're doing dually Sunday night. And Monday, Frankie is meeting us at the fiddle. Frankie has or confirmed the- with multiple people. You cannot make this up. And right now, who puts the fiddle? Yeah, but the world's largest fiddle. He's meeting us there. We're getting a fucking uh, a grandpa burger. Shit is going on, people. It's all happening. And I cannot thank you guys enough for being a part of it. Oh, it is fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Five dollars. This is for Gerard Coombs. Five dollars for Gerard Coombs. Thank you, Derek. I will see if he gets it. I literally. Oh, my God. Shout out to Try the Beal. Have a good time, guys. One Labatt's on me. Labatt Blue, baby. Labatt Blue. Um, what was I going to say? What did you... Oh, I didn't send the link to Garrett and Steve today. Garrett's away right now. Yeah, but trust me. Garrett would good. Because Garrett's on vacation and Steve is raising that fucking kid. Yeah. Like, because they're both better people than me. <laughs> I'm the 65 year old going, hey guys, you want to stream with me and Carl? <laughs> no, I want to spend time with my son. No, I'm on vacation with my wife. Yeah, but me and Carl are in a Prius <laughs> in yeah, Maine. It's the hang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carl are in a Prius in Maine and I'm pissing in a in a food town orange juice bottle. Yeah. So uh long story short, or should I say long story longer? I, I decided not to bother them with it. Okay, understood. <laughs> Nice of Steve. Uh, Raise somebody else. Uh, again. Great dude. Uh, great his little Trevor. Come on. Uh, oh God, his little Trevor. Jake on G. To be fair, Steve is better than most people. And funny. Steve and Garrett are funnier than most people, too. I would love it if Gino shows up at the Mexican border and even they won't let him in. It's true. It's, they're flying us in. Flip Lowy. Uh, Give me a sec. Asking, uh, give me a sec. It's asking me for a bunch of shit. I'm sorry, Cliff. You could have just. Uh, I should have just given me Carl's number to call. Ooh, what a great year. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Where'd you go? Somebody got. You guys still there? Sorry. Sent me that message. Ready. What? That kitty fucker message. How did? Yeah, but you're saying one of our fans got your message. I don't know if it was one of the fans or one of the. Anyone that looks at you comedy. once knows you're a kitty fucker. And you have to. And, and no, it takes a second glance. You, you really got to drink it all in? Stop drinking the pee. Ah, uh, that's the stuff that you fucking intermittent fast with your number. It's green and black tea. It's green and black tea, everyone. Come Steve. Send me the link. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Steve. Great. One time that my friend was standing in a puddle of pee, and I was like, hey, you're in. You're in. Why won't I let You're in. Hold on, everyone. You're in. I'm sending Steve the link. You're in. You're in? Everyone, hold on. Don't go away. It's been sent the link for Gerard Coombs. You guys still there? There you go. Do, do we go away when you go away? Probably not, no. right? You're going to give yourself kidney stones with all that tea, bro. No, disagree. Uh, fun fact, Tucci Nazi, and you can look this up and, and prove me wrong, but it's not the it's not the green and black tea. That, it's, not, it's not unsweetened tea that gives you kidney stones. It's not. It's not. And it's not black coffee that gives you kidney stones. It's all the shit people put in it that crystallizes. You mean coffee like doesn't, creamer and sugar? Coffee doesn't crystallize. Okay. Now what? Oh, pull over, Carl. Car. But I appreciate. Now I was acting like I had a kidney stone. So I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Hey. Steve, come to hey. you. What's going on? Welcome. Road trip. I don't care. What's going on? Oh, can you hear me? Here we are. We did. Yeah, that's what better. And you hear us talking about you. They're like, why did you think Garrett and Steve Link? I'm like, they're raising children on vacation with their wives. And I'm going to be like, hey, you want to talk to me and Carl in a Prius in Maine? <laughs> 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 
I did. And I'm like, where's my fucking link? What, am I good enough for the fucking road trip show? I really didn't want to bother you. Where are you right now? I am in Atlantic City. Ah, my connection is terrible. That's us. Hold on, that's us. That's us, not you, buddy. Why are you in AC? My anniversary. Yeah, it. Oh, hold on. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great, Gilbert. I'm at Dooley's. Yeah, Frank, do oh, me a favor and make my buddy. Thank you, Steve, and make my buddy jealous. Tell him tell him what we're doing this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Frank, and I'm at Dooley right now. Are you guys going to be right, gambling and smoking cigarettes? <laughs> Dooley. You guys can gamble and smoke cigarettes. There's the, the Nova Scotia Casino. That's yes, Our friends Jason there. and Heather are up there, and they, they stopped at a bingo place to gamble, Steve. And they literally had a 10 drink maximum. <laughs> It's got a lot of background noise. No, it's a lot going on. I'm just trying to fucking think of my sound which suck the trying to. That's a lot of hey, hold on. That's a little better. Frank, Frankie left. <laughs> bye bye, Frankie. You walk fucking Frankie, Steve. Are you happy with yourself? Yes. So wait, what are you doing in AC, buddy? Smoking cigarettes and gambling. Yeah. Hey, what is your thing? What's that? What's your thing? Blackjack. Blackjack. Hi, now. But you're gonna you're gonna wind up playing you're gonna wind up playing back around it. I've come to find out. No, it's uh it's the wife and I's anniversary, so I booked a suite at the hey, Ocean. Oh, happy anniversary, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> it's windy out here. It's not wow. it's not the best beach day. Why is it so fucking loud all of a sudden? Unbelievable. It's the wind. Actually, maybe it's just you hit up that roulette again. Oh, yeah. I think it's because we're not yet used to having to listen to people. We're just yapping. Look at his hair blowing around. Look at that great shock of hair. Yeah, the wind is terrible. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we were going to try and drive a lot further, but th this is unbelievable. Well, our friend Carl believes in fucking climate change, so I can't be bothered, but it's fucking the minute. It's it's this first. It's it's the third week of spring, and it's fucking forty degree. It's gonna be it's in in Nova Scotia. You know what the weather is going to be on Monday, Steve. Three degrees. The red is three Celsius. Did you bring a winter coat? I brought my snowboarding jacket. I'm not fucking around. I can't be bothered with that. Yeah, I should have brought a coat. It's freezing here. Well, it's got to be so cold. You're right, there off the, you're right there off the water. Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's not a good beach day. I wanted to roll around in the sand. Uh, by the way, so Steve, he didn't he didn't say it before. Well, we couldn't get the sand. Uh, we got a guy out there, our buddy Cliff. He lives in Sydney, and we've been talking to him. Frank, he's on for fucking uh, dualies. Like we, I was telling that story how, like, when he said Thursday. No, no, dueling Sunday night. The three of us looked at each other going like, he's really doing it. But he's in for uh, the eclipse. He told this guy, like, I'm meeting Chino and Carl at the big fiddle. Are you fucking kidding me? That's yes. like one of my greatest accomplishments ever. He's made the fucking uh, Hesta and uh, Jason and Heather are already up there. They were playing bingo, bingo. last night. <laughs> they literally sent me a new you can't make it up. They sent me a sign from a uh, New Brunswick bingo parlor, and the sign said, 10 drink maximum. 
Like, <laughs> people just go to the bingo um, parlor yeah, right. and get so drunk that you can only, you can't have more than 10 drinks at the bingo parlor. Are you going to try to hit the max? Are you going to go to the bingo parlor? And <laughs> I don't know drinks? what to make. I don't know where... I don't know what we're going to hit next, but Carl's got some whiskey. We are, uh, we're heading for the lovely uh, Super 8 Banger Main. Eat hour your heart 15, out. Hour 15. Sounds like a hell of a trip. Does your wife know you're smoking? Does, uh, does, does your wife know you're smoking right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's, uh, okay. know, it's, it's our honeymoon. I, I'll call you back inside. My sound is terrible. All right. You're the man, Steve. You have the link. I'll call you back. <laughs> um, demand and you shall receive. If you're Steve. Super sticker we got. Oh, five dollars from fucking uh Jeremy Clovis. I seriously don't think Frankie believes you and Carl are on the way. Have you spoken to him outside of the show? Does he know this is for real? Jeremy, he knows this is for real. Doesn't he? I mean, because uh, honestly, if he didn't think we were coming, he would be like playing along. By the way, thank God for stopping him, banker. Fuck this yeah, shit. Take your time. So the thing is that Frankie uh, Skyped in, that's the wrong term, but uh, he, he didn't stay long. He, this chat is probably before Jeremy saw Frankie. Uh, but uh, this is going to happen, especially to this. I'm looking forward to having a good time at Dooley's. Yes. By the way, fuck you, push up. Hey, chat, before Gino here, should I, because he knows I'm going to read it. Should I ruin Gino's win let him know Frankie believes in climate change, or should I just let him enjoy his trip? Fucking, I will do that for bonus content. Me and Frankie will discuss climate change. Why don't you have the defroster on? I, I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to want to do it. You can see here. Oh, that's the foot one. Yeah, but where is the... Oh, I think that's it. There you go. That's I it. think it's as good as I can get. That's it. Now it's better, right? Okay. 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 What is this? That'd be funny. Frankie was a rain man and was helping Steve cheat the casino. I yeah, know. I don't think that is his superpower. He's, his superpower is weather. <laughs> Shut up the snowballs. Frankie doesn't believe in the Holocaust, so it evens out. And by the way, kudos to snowballs uh, for his iconic icon, excuse me, iconic avatar. Of Kevin Brenny fucking spilling his tea. Legendary. Yeah, there you go. Climate change. Not true, not true, not true. Um but yeah, we have a we have a we have under good uh, authority, dare I say. Why isn't it letting you in, Cliff? I don't know what to tell you. Do you not have StreamYard? <laughs> so that's one of the beautiful things. <laughs> He's sticking to the bit, but you throw them down for that and fuck you for eavesdropping. <laughs> I don't know if we can take this call and lose the chat. I'm going to try. Hold on. Did we? Your gamer problem. Uh, dude, what? We'll, we'll Please press two. Sorry, Cliff. I don't know what to tell you. You got to just fucking uh, stick with the chat. I apologize. We can't lose all these people. Uh, one of the beauty, beautiful things about StreamYard is you just click the link and you don't need an app. You just enter the studio through your browser. What's not working for you? Yeah. This is uh, this is Carl in, uh, uh, what is it, in tech services? Cliff, try a different browser. If you're using Chrome, try a shell. They're hitting one. Press one if you're gay for Carl. Oh, Press Michelle, two. There you go. Gay for Carl. I can hit one if I need to. Hey, Listen, if you're gay for me, I'm going to hit one. You're going to hit that, as they say. No, I'm not hitting that. You're going to hit that. I'm going to make. I'm going to break it in three places. I love. I love. Tool man Mike just put. Sure, one. <laughs> sure. I'm gay. gay for Carl. I'm gay for you. There you go. Producer Roberto, but we always know. We always knew you were gay for Carl. God. This is, it's not reciprocal, guys. I'm not going to be gay back. Come on, look at this. This is where we are right now, people. This is what we got going on. Change. This is fucking April fucking 
six. This that, is weather. This is the weather I get for Alex Engelbert's birthday. What the fuck, people? Such bullshit. Thirty-five. Good lord. God, thank God I got out of that. Lord Cannon, we're at the hotel. There you go. Start drinking. Start drinking. Yeah, I like. It. I like. It. Right. Yeah. Nice over. So tomorrow we get up at fucking, dude. We get up early. Yeah. Right, because we're looking at how many. I, I, I think we're looking at to banger from here. Excuse me, not the banger from here. Fucking plus the border. You know, we're gonna. Uh, Although I'll tell you, Jason and Heather said they didn't really lose any time. It really wasn't about the border. I really recently give me a went to Montreal. It was February and it breezed through the border. Now on the way home, there was a backup. Uh, Not me. Uh, look, and our itinerary is taking shape, people. It is taking the fuck shape. I love it. Love it. So we do, you. Uh, shout out, Mary Medici. Uh, now it's entirely makes sense why Biscondi has been looking out the window with an expression of contemplating self termination. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get that? I, I don't know. We just said he was going crazy down by the lake. You know? That, yeah, that's uh, Fargo. <laughs> and then he said some words that you know that, that we don't use. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So he says he, he might have stolen trouble. a little bit of thunder from our boy fucking uh I already forget his name. Jesus Christ, I'm the worst. I said he boys, girls, what do you think I am? Stupid. What do you think I am? Fantastic. I really hate that I'm watching this. You're just jealous. You can't be in a Prius Nobody. on the way to Maine. Nobody is jealous. <laughs> Nobody is jealous. They're a little jealous. They're a little jealous. Come on. Come on. You know, there's nowhere rural I'm up here fantastic. because they're all in location. Hey, uh, Carl, Carl, do you have a nickname? I think everyone should have, have a nickname, oh, don't you? What? Did everyone would be named me? <laughs> Does that make sense? Even I'm sick of me. You know who won that? Uh, you know, my buddy uh, Nick, he's always bragging. He's really good at spelling bees. Oh my God! Spelling B is the easiest thing in the world, man. Why? It's one letter. I would say. Why is that even a thing? I would say spelling B is the, are the easiest thing in the world because they're only one letter. If you say spelling B, you're kind of tipping off the clever punchline. Uh, you're setting them up for oh it. Oh my God! I forgot. Jesus Christ! Happy birthday, McGuinevere. We love McGuinevere. She's an OG. Fucking she's she's uh she's the Keanu cast O fucking G. Eighty one miles. And Mike Swing. <laughs> Woo! I I brought it, by the way, for that purpose. I right, shout out, this is my friend Gabe. You know what his last name is? Bitches. 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 Where's the whistle, Carl? Stop it. I have the whistle. Gina Michelle burned dinner, smoke detector is going off, and the dog is barking and she's beating Junior. It's it. I love that family. Like I, I think I think if we ever did land a sitcom called the Murnspins, they, they, they the Dagos would be their name. You hey, know, the Dagos are coming by for dinner. All right. Do you know uh like, now that morning is over, maybe that sitcom it, with uh, his roommate is the way to go. Oh, we got Clint. Let's see if we can hear him better. He made it, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, our man on the spot, Cliff Lowy, everyone. Yo, Cliff, what's up, buddy? Hey, boss. How's it going? I finally figured out how to get into this. Thing. Thank God you made it in now. We hear him pretty well, too. Now, you've been in contact with Frank, am I correct? Yes, I just was talking with him like half an hour ago. He's good. He's watching every minute of everything you've done today. <laughs> Now, you're fucking kidding me. So he's like, we're all genuinely excited about this. As, like, I, I dare say you are. I know me and Carl are. Fucking, uh, fucking Heather and Jason drove up from Boston. They're insane. And Frankie is on board. He's genuinely excited. Am I right? Everything is in the plans. He, I guess I, I, he used to work Monday to Fridays, but I think he's only working Fridays right now. He works. He works. He works at that mall, right, Cliff? 
I just wanted to show you. There is no Pretty snow good. here, man. The snowstorm is. April he, Fool's. That was, his, that was his April Fool's Day joke. So, oh yes, yeah, someone showed us the tweet. Like he called uh, for three hundred centimeters of snow here, man. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, you but know, you like, what's that about ten feet? With climate change, that could happen. Now, you said we're doing, you're coming to Julie's uh, tomorrow night, right, buddy? Absolutely. I think me and the wife are both coming. Great. Great. Me and the wife will meet you there. Yeah, we'll, we could have a double date. I love you, Carl, by the way. You're awesome. Aww. Thank you, dude. Aww. You are absolutely awesome. I think you should be the new co host of In Hot Water. I watch we it in hot water. The new host host of in hot water. Listen, we can be couple friends. You, your wife, and me and Gino. Now, here's the and other also, thing, Clip. While we got you, Clip, you literally confirmed, Frankie. Am I crazy or am I exaggerating? Because I get excited. Did he not say to you he's meeting us at the Big Fiddle on on Monday for the eclipse? The eclipse. You don't understand, Frankie. I when I go to the mall. And I meet him, and like I just go there, I'm buying stuff, whatever, at the mall, and I run into him. If I say anything to him, he automatically goes into an in hot water commercial for 10 <laughs> minutes while I'm standing in the mall, just me and him talking to each other. He literally goes off about everything about in hot water, everything about wet spot. He literally just goes and goes and goes and goes and doesn't stop. He is the best guy in the world. He loves compound media with all his heart. I saw um, Yeah, he and we love him. Like, we've been talking about the past two weeks now. It's like, I couldn't believe how it snuck up on us. I'm like, I'm not going. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, I'm fucking going. Yeah, you know? Yeah. And we, like, we, we always talk about how if you look at the first time Frankie ever did in hot water to yeah. Frankie doing it with us now, like, he's yeah. fucking. I don't. I'm not going to talk like we're like it's a movie Awakenings, but he is so comfortable around us. He works us. He like he's comfortable enough calling Stephen Garrett and yelling at them, so to speak, saying, he "Yo, hundred percent, hundred percent, all in on in hot water and compound media." You know, he's a good guy, man. I love him. I see him at the hockey games all the time, and that I talked to him a little bit tonight. He's he's all in for the next couple of days for sure. Great. That is fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so, know exactly where he lives or anything, but I think that's a by plan, you know. He's gonna meet us where he wants to meet us. So <laughs> Yeah, it's we're we're on Frankie time, but there's no doubt. Like I can't imagine he's not gonna be at Dooley's tomorrow night. And I and oh, I really think no. the team in the middle and, and Cliff, we're going to A and W and we're all getting grandpa burgers. You fucking know that. But you know yeah, the chill zone is closed. It's We're still winter here. Can we break into the it, oh? It's going to be winter for fucking September. Don't tell Carl. Can we break into the chill zone? Can we? Hey, well, you can. I, I'll keep my distance, but if you want to, but I don't know if you're going to get back across the border. <laughs> Suppose I just pound on that. We'll get video of me pounding on the uh, boarded up window at the chill zone, yelling, "Do you know who the fuck I am?" That's yeah. always a bit. And that might work with the Gerard Coons, Coons thing there. I think he's also closed tomorrow. But yeah, most everything about... else is open tomorrow. We or actually... Sunday. Or Monday, I mean. Yeah, we uh, we actually called. I don't know if you're subbed to Gum Friday. But we actually called fucking Gerard Coons' shop on, uh, well, we film it on Wednesday. Yeah. And God, he's like, yeah. Could... Does he go in on Monday? Not only is the place closed on Monday, Cliff's out of town till like fucking May. Oh, is he? <laughs> oh. Hold on. If I want to be my far better half, well, my other one, Keanu C. Thompson in the chat. Hey, baby. Hello. Not here yet. I, hmm. I only like Keanu when she's on the toilet. Can you hear me? She's peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Or when she's being attacked by six, yes, that's of course. What? <laughs> she just yeah, heard her. She probably has no reception because I think she's in the mountains. Oh no, she's not in the mountains. She's in uh, she's hanging with Frank and Chrissy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, fucking Cliff, are are you working on Monday or can we be with you 
that tour. He's driving us around his nope. truck. On Monday, right? Oh, that's, the, that's the plan. I am I'm retired, so I plan to come get you guys on Monday morning, and we'll go boss yeah. around wherever you want. Oh, we're tired. Hey, congrats. <laughs> that's a, yeah. a life-changing work. You really oh, trying to sell thing, aren't you? Yeah, you're funny. Hi. And you think this guy's funny? Are you kidding me, Cliff? He's hysterical. I think he's the best. He is the best. He should be your new co-host. Oh, you guys are breaking up, man. Yeah, well, we're driving in the middle of nowhere, but there you go. Uh, by the way, Jake Punk G says, get Carl Wig and tell Frankie he's whatever ain't. Yeah, right. Uh, did you know them the show? It's too late, Dark. Shout out to Brian who says make sure you get Frankie scratching. That could happen. Before you guys go, I just want to let you know that the Fairfield Inn in uh, Bangor is actually a really pretty nice place. We stayed there for a week last summer, and it's uh, pretty clean, really nice. That's what. Oh, I was afraid because someone and one, thank you so much, but two. It didn't come up. We did the hotel tonight search. Actually, it was hotels.com. I got a really good deal on two rooms, but it didn't pop up in the search. But thank you. But someone had offered us. He said, hey, I have, I have connections to a room, but that was in Portland, uh, Maine. Right, I was right. afraid you said was you. I was afraid I fucked up a free room. By the way, I forgot to do this. How did I forget to do this? Can we say hi to Aaron Berg in the back seat? There you go, everyone. <laughs> Aaron Berg. Aaron Berg, everyone. How did I miss that? All right, Cliff, well, I want to thank you for fucking the universe provides. And I fucking, you, you're just a, you're just another fucking piece of the fucking angels that fell out of the sky and are just holding our hand and walking us through this. I cannot wait. To, Cliff, provides. Cliff provides. I cannot wait to hang with you at the chill zone tomorrow, grab you and the wife a drink, and then just fucking take the tour. But thank you so fucking much, man. Dooley's tomorrow night, I guess, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's where we start our adventure. Looking forward to it. Okay, there you, you go. Just text, you text me when but you get just like town. Okay. Okay. You got it, buddy. If you uh, All right, you later, pal. You guys stop at the uh, Irving. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> at the what? Oh, at the Irving, at the Causeway, just before you hit Cape Breton, they have really good food there. Okay, send us the link because we're stupid. No, well, the just, link. you're gonna have to cross onto the island of Cape Breton at some point. Oh, by the way, three go. Uh, my far better half decided to talk to us again. Right, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Is an island. What's that? Cape Breton is an island, and you have to cross a bridge to get onto it. And okay. There's a Irving station in front of there with a really big restaurant. It's a, called the Big Irving, and they have really good food there. That's a good place to stop and eat before you come over. Yeah. Well, make sure you send us the link to it. It's just a limited success. Oh, you'll see it on your maps. Anyways, anyways, have a good oh. trip, guys. Have a good sleep tonight. I'll be watching. Later, buddy. And then just text me if you have any can you questions at all. Yeah, I can hear you. you got Hi. Hi, Keanu. Michelle. Hi, Hi. Hi. I just got my nails my done with chrysanthemum. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm just here with chrysanthemum. She's just walking out now. She just We got our nails done. How's the pilgrimage? <laughs> She's just happy that <laughs> six hasn't killed you yet. <laughs> By the way, there's somebody fucking taking us on a tour Monday. We already confirmed Frankie's in for uh, Sunday and Monday. Chrissy, man. Hi, Chrissy. Oh, I got there you go. Yes. How's the ride? The ride is getting a little messy now, but that's why the universe is making us stay in Portland. So we're, we should be uh, at the hotel in 57 minutes. You'll be at the hotel that you're going to stay at? Yes. We're about the, to get the fine, the fine Sorry. super chat of the morning rides uh, paid for uh, us to get nice hotels. Oh, lovely. Very lovely. Look, look, my nails are done. And we got our toes done, too. Oh, my God. That's so good. 
Got that. Right. So Carl. Carl, so tell me how much your family hates Gino. <laughs> I that is the most interesting part of this whole entire excursion. Okay. I hate so much I hate her. Well, they're not really they don't really know Gino so well. They don't like my association with the show. I'm charming. If they yeah. could they would know. <laughs> He doesn't sound like they'd like to. He's not. I you know, Carl, it. can I be honest with you? It took me a while to come around on you. <laughs> I don't know why, and like Frank can attest to this, that I sometimes just don't like people for no reason. I, like for some, I don't understand, and there was no reason for it. I just didn't get you. I just didn't get the big I, you know, And I was like, oh my God, he's absolutely. Right. I don't know why. I know. Not that I thought, not that I dislike you. I, like I don't what see it. Wipe off your lens, Keanu. Keanu, wipe off your lens. Now, what? What do you know? Wipe off your lens. Wipe them off. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's probably covered in uh, oil from the from the nails being done. Oh, I was losing my mind. Oh, jeez. Oh. Look no, at that. Friends, look at that. For, for what it's worth. And by the way, while we have Chrissy on, I'll make sure I fucking update the baby pool thing. We're up to at least 200 for each. Uh, 200 for the winner, 200 for the baby. For what it's worth, uh, Chrissy, that's hilarious because remember when you fucking had uh, your boy fucking uh, Andrew Harms the first time he was on? I'm like, what is this guy doing on your show? What the fuck are you doing? And then after that, I was like, I told you this guy's great. Yeah. And Bill doesn't care for Harms. It's Frank's dad. <laughs> He, he, is one of the, I don't get it. he is one of the funniest people I've ever met. <laughs> he is so bizarrely funny. I love him. And Carl, yes, he, but, but you won Chrysanthemum over. So that's immediately. That's, immediately. And then I was like, why did I ever even have a thought that he was? I'm actually warm up to Chrissy, I swear. <laughs> I don't know why I judged you. Yes. Why, I, why, are you different? why are you so pretty looking? Did you have your nails done? Chrissy needs the driving crooner decals too. Did you do you know what the driving crooner is, Chrissy? The driving crooner? Have, have Keanu, not now, but later on. One of you needs to Google driving crooner video. Uh, 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 this guy, Captain Miserable, who we all love now. Sent me the thing yesterday when I was doing my stream. You were asleep, Keanu. I was dying. It's a three-minute video. It's a, it's okay. a, it's a character. You just have to watch it. But I was dying. Oh well, we will. We are pulling up to that uh, house, so I'll let you go. I love you, Bisconti. I love you, Carl. Love you, Carl. Love you, Bisconti. Happy birthday to McGuinn. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're gone. There you go. That's so. Oh, I love those. That is so funny because talk about two uh, talk about two polar opposite cars. Suck it, Joey Dago. <laughs> um, Listen, we're driving this car for gas mileage. That's about it. Look, we burnt another twenty bucks in fuel. So uh, all you know, it's it's hardly anything compared to what we would have done. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. And the weather should be clearer tomorrow. What's that? Uh, this, uh, by the way, this report in from our fucking man on the scene, not Cliff, but uh, uh, Heather and Jason. Uh, bar at the Holiday Inn open till midnight. Other bars really close. Over the top, friendly people in and around the hotel. Very curious why we, why we, they're very curious why they're here. Can you imagine? Hi, we came up from Boston. Why? <laughs> We've dropped Frankie's name at the desk and everyone lit up. Everyone, everyone knows him. People, uh, this shit's fucking happening. I'm we are descending time. upon, or is it ascending upon? Descending. Yes, but it's, we're driving up to do it. But if you're ascending upon, you're not upon, you're going, you're ascending. So, we're so descending upon. We're descending upon fucking Sydney, Nova Scotia. No, it's ascending. We're ascending the throne. No, if you land on something, you descend upon it. We are fucking breaking, we're fucking, we're, we're fucking setting records in Sydney, Nova Scotia, people. That's what we're doing, yo. 
So now I can say, like, I'm Frankie McDonald's personal friend, and everyone will know me. Yeah. And of course, they all are his personal friend, too. Like, all that's because Steve had to fucking, Steve had to fucking uh, reach out to him. The Frankie meetup is indeed eclipsing the fucking eclipse. Do not kid yourself, people. This shit is the shit, man. It's going to be a scene, man. It's, it's absolute scenes. Fucking, they're going to Sydney, Nova Scotia to be five hours east of the eclipse? That don't make no sense. We're only three hours. How have we not sent a fucking link to fucking, uh... How have we not sent a link to fucking, uh... This guy. Frankie was in earlier. I, I keep wanting to say Andrew Arms because my brain locked up. Fucking don't help me. Peabody. Fucking Nelson Peabody. I couldn't. What's wrong? Nothing. It's person. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, fucking. I just sent a link to Nelson Peabody. See if he has a sec to pop in. Uh, the man, the man. Yeah. Why didn't we think of him first? Good lord. Frankie. Uh, God. You might have to play it. Frankie sent a video. I don't know if you can hear this. Hold on. I'm going to see if you can hear this. I don't think I'll lose him, but hold on. That said, Chino and Carl on their way to Sydney are on their way to Sydney, Nova Scotia, and he smiled. I'm going to retweet. He's like, I will see Sydney, Chino, and Carl soon. This is happening. This is happening. It's fucking happening. Chris, that's what he's going to say. Coger, Chrissy, Chi, Chi, Z, and Amy are missing out. I think he still thinks we might have them with us. Well, that could we'll be a problem. Photo, if nothing else. If we show the whatever Amy photo at the border, do you think it speeds up the process? No. It seems like we're hiding something. It's like causes some confusion. Why would they be showing me? What? The people say whatever, whatever. What? Did you get that, Joe? Yes. Oh, I did. I did just get it. I did just get it. Tell Frankie not to stare at the sun. Jared DePal, a long time no chat. Is Canada actually going to let Chino in the country? It's on. It's on. That's true. Fucking Dave on the record. Next year, Phillies in and Mets in London. Absolute scenes. Now, listen, I absolute scenes. Eclipse glasses also for Frank because that ridiculous paper one he had. Right. I don't know. I don't trust it. What about the periphery? So, anyway, I have three glasses. That's true. Brian Kowalczyk, are you guys going to be at uh, dinner at Frankie's time? What, 3 p.m.? Yeah, bitch, go Phils. I don't know how. Why this? Get rid of that. It's just bugging me. Doesn't matter. Like, like yeah. I, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a two dollar super stick. Which, by the way, thank you very much. But it fucking makes it even harder to read yeah, the you, fucking comments. You can't acknowledge it. Make it go away. Can't. Can't do it. Start. Let me see. I want to stay on Chino's mind, send a stick. I can't. I can't. Uh, doing great so far. Donald Ronald Donald. Forget to remember. I don't know what that is. That's somebody who just went by. Does Frankie I, dare I, Frankie to swim to London when you get there? Will not. Pick up one of those bigger girls from Frankie on the way, without a doubt. Yeah, dude. And by the way, of course I'll be glad to try. Like, if you'd ask me to on this fucking leg, I would, you know? Uh, now, I'm trying to make your life easy, but I don't think I can do it on the other end. Yeah, fuck no. Fuck no. I could do the first trip tomorrow, dude. Whatever you want to do. If you want to fucking, you know, get some extra rest. That works. But whatever works for you, buddy. It's all fucking part of the bigger picture. If, so wait, it's uh, it's probably ten fucking hours. Uh, let's see. I'd say it's ten at most. Okay? So we need to leave. not longer, for sure. That's right. What do you mean? No, you're correct, because... I was thinking a halfway point would be eight hours. It would only be six or seven. I think it was seven hours. It's going to be less than ten hours. Would be. Right. Don't mess with that. Why? Well, Fifty-seven miles up ninety-five north. Don't, 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 don't. don't why? why? Why do you want to? I'm just curious how far it is. I'm just. I'll put Let's it back. find out at the hotel. 
I want to know now. Okay, forget it. Forget it. I got it. I got it. You do got it. I got it. And you fixed it when it was all drunk and uh, start drinking now, Gene. Fuck, I'll fucking do it on lunch. What's the orange? Uh, the orange is uh, the decimal way. Uh, shout out Tito Jackson. Buy Frankie a beer for me. Now, do you think, what should we, would it be wrong for us to try and get Frankie to have a beer? Yes. Why? You We're not up here to corrupt him. Let him enjoy himself. But right. if ever he were, he's a grown up. Oh, he's a grown up. Ever, are we safe people? Are we safe people? Do you trust your child around us? Yes. If we give him a beer, we're child. not safe. No, his parents. If we give him a beer, we're not safe people. If he drinks his own beer, that's one thing. But we don't want to give him. If a beer. we could get him to do a shot, and what of if he likes it? What if he likes it? Why would he like it? Well, then we're heading home, and he's going to be out doing Jim Jameson at Dooley's. Can you Jameson money? Wouldn't it be great if we left Frankie? No, that would not be great. <laughs> What's that? Would be funny. What has he done? Funny. What has he done up? And imagine if he's doing the weather report. This is Frankie McDonald's. No, no, I've seen and he him. drops an end bomb. This weather sucks. When you guys make it go fast and slow, I love that. It's like he's already. Oh, we yeah, don't do that. He did that. Yeah, he did that on his own. That's how Frankie rolls. You got to realize that. <laughs> Give him the beer and shit. He'll be Cranky McDonald. Uh, good one. Come on. Give him a beer and a shot. Oh, okay. That's even funny. Yeah, that's true. All kidding aside. I, and see, I agree with that. If you offered Frankie a drink, as Reeves Uppercut says, he wouldn't take one if you offered me. He'd be like, no, 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 no. Right. He would laugh. But there's only one way to be sure. All right. We can offer it to him. No, I can trust that he won't take All kidding aside, if I offered to him, I'd be afraid he'd say yes as a goof. Yeah, plus he can't drink because he needs his hands full of female ass. Right. That's, that's right. We don't see the lower part of that cell, but he's never the one holding it. He's the one copying. We could have a pretension motor boat, uh, whatever, Amy. That wouldn't be bad. God. Nancy McDonald is right. Chunk style in the house with 10 bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, give this to Frankie so we can tip Mr. Poops. Gerard Poops. Still won't do it. Yeah, we he would just laugh. First of all, that's a, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we brought two giant checks. We brought two giant checks because we're going to fucking present one to Frankie uh, for, uh, I guess we'll say for uh, for hiding the sun behind the moon. Oh, that was nice of him, except he couldn't reschedule it to be the weekend. I remember. remember that? That's how long this has been going on. We kept saying April 8th is no good for me. Yeah, right. And it seemed like it was a fucking so far away. Right. Here it is. Uh, shout out Guy Markham just playing in from Instagram. He said, give Frankie a big hug for me. Uh, hold on. If I wasn't already living on tins of sardines. Okay, never mind. And, uh, that we met fucking at the uh, Compound Sensor Tour, whatever the fuck it was called back then, me, Chrissy, and Gavin, and fucking uh, Josh Denny, and fucking he came over from fucking England, fucking Scott. Really? I remember Ray is you. sniping you for some reason. That cannot be true. That cannot fucking be true. I hope, is Ray really sniping us, Dave? Because he knows, <laughs> I know you're fucking with Like, Ray embarrassed himself yesterday. I hope he is sniping me so I can say, Ray embarrassed himself yesterday. Fucking, because someone must have sent him a link and said, "Hey, Kevin wants you on the show." And so he fucking he, he uh he fucking whatever links into Kevin's show, and they say on there, "Why the fuck is Ray here? Don't let him the fuck in, Adam." And then he got to watch all these people make money. Ah, uh, he's not. Thank you. Ah, uh, Dave H. I love it. I totally believed it. Ah, uh, oh God. Ray, it just seems so believable, you asshole. What did Chris say that's so funny? What did Chris say that's so funny? I gotta find it now. I can't find it. Oh. Chris Orlando. Frank is actually doing his own stream 
driving to New York City. This is awkward. <laughs> Thank you for making me go back and, and find it. Sorry it's so clunky me going to the chat. This fucking phone. Fucking whatever. You're driving less miles than Ray does for two shows in a year. Matthias Wiggenheim. I was so far away, but she drove eight hours for a five-minute spot. I told you why. And then Bobby was sitting there like a douche trying to defend it. Anything. You know, Bobby used to do that, like some ridiculous Bobby just to be counter, you know. Bobby was a piece of shit that did no favors for fucking morning, never answered the phone. Fucking didn't answer the phone the one week he thought of for Garrett. Fucking I took him to Scotty's, he fucking took pictures of empty chairs. Gene's like, don't ever bring him back here again. Gene said that. Yeah, he's like, he's like, why would he do that? I'm like, I don't know. And this is after I took him all over. He I'll say for the 90th time. Fucking, he's not that, he's an unremarkable comedian. He doesn't write this up. He's been doing the same boring sets since he got here. He thinks that, he thinks being a good comedian, being a good comedian doesn't necessarily make you a good podcaster. So you can imagine when you suck at comedy, think you're good at it, you're not going to be good at podcasting. It drove him nuts to watch guys like fucking Jim and Steve and Garrett and fucking Chrissy because she's a girl and he has no respect for her. She's a great comic. And Keanu he turned on because he watched them all sit at the desk he sucked at and be better than him. Now, listen, I... Because Bobby is an here. untalented, miserable wait, fuck wait, 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 wait. that I was nothing but nice to. Uh, and uh, fucking, he bit the hand that fed him. And well, Lord knows true. he gets food in enough places that he fucking didn't even notice it. Fat, angry, fucking fuck. Okay, now look. Run to me. I think you said... Everything. And by the way, shake one cheek. Luby is so much better than him on the dump. Loopy is one, she's a girl, so it adds that female fucking angst. And two, she handles herself with fucking, she's got a swagger to her. I fucking love her. Except when she has to poop. Oh, when she had to poop, how great was that? And I'm keeping the keys. No, wait, I don't want to get past Bobby without saying this. Please. Bobby, it's true of everything you said, but Bobby he sucked it in hot water a, character. He did make an audience laugh with his stand up. Absolutely. We were in the room, Gino. He was making everybody laugh. No, nothing's new. I've never seen him do new material since the first time I ever saw him, but we can't say that everybody didn't laugh at his stuff. What does that matter when I'm telling you he's a terrible person? Right. Fucking worked against right. fucking the hand that fed him. Here's why it matters. You could say all the true things about why it's crappy. If you say a false thing, then it negates all the I didn't stuff. say anything false. You said he wasn't, he wasn't talented. I did comedian. not. I said he's an unremarkable comedian. Keanu said it perfectly. That's fair, unremarkable. No, that's spot the fuck on. But because then not... a fucking cunt like you, and I love you, but a cunt like you that's afraid to fucking call a spade a spade. No, I'm and calling I'm looking a spade all over a spade. For one because he's an unremarkable comic. You're like, well, he made him laugh. He did. Fucking there are tri bar specials that people laugh at because they've been trained. Fucking Bobby was on a show with me and he went after you. So they're like, this is a good show. This bearded fat midget must be funny. Stop it. Stop <laughs> fucking, stop no. fucking making it okay for people to be assholes. No, no, no. All the other stuff is very true. But this. To say he's not funny, I did. I said, and I, I stole the line. I stole the line from Keanu. He's an unremarkable comedian. Unremarkable, no one ever watched Bobby and said, "God damn it, he's funny." No. no one ever watched Bobby and said, "Man, you got to see this guy." But you defend him, going like he made no, people I don't laugh. Have, right? I got to. Yeah, but then you tried to fucking undo what I said, I, and you're like, no. "Well, you said he wasn't funny." I said, "No, he's an unremarkable comedian," which again is the perfect line. I took it from Keanu. That's all. Listen, ungrateful, turning on people, being unremarkable, there you go. Uh, shitting on Scotties. Yeah. All I was saying is, like, you don't need to say, and you did, don't yell at me, that he's not funny because he does. I didn't say it wasn't funny. I just, I thought you did, and I just wanted to be clear. Yeah, but see, and I know what you didn't say. I apologize. To who? Because I didn't just record it. And wait. Wait, for now, it's going right to members only. By the way, thank you. My friend could be here for my guy. Did I get this guy? Uh, Let's put it on because I don't know that you did. Hold on. Chin from Richmond, Virginia. Oh, uh, big fan of Patrice. Wait, 
Bob fan of Patrice. Bob fan of Patrice. I would love to fucking chin down with you, but fucking hold on. I'll drink the piss. Wait. Oh, no. I'll do a shot of fucking uh, Tostitos. <laughs> do a shot of that. Okay, you can drink the piss. You can drink the piss. Why are you so worried about that? Hold on. Why? Why do you work? Thank you so much. 40 minutes and we're at the hotel. Bobby is a junkie wigger zero in life rack me. ACDC 5150. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. And it's it, it's about fucking disloyalty. Yeah. He, fucking, uh, he fucking got his start with Eastside Dave who brought him over. And I love that. But Eastside Dave, because Eastside Dave, Anthony Cunha hired him. Anthony Cunha. Anthony Cunha paid him. And he fucked over his network with the way he behaved. And he fucking never promoted the network. And he pushed back against Steve. And he fucking shit on Chrissy. He fucking called Keanu a uh, half trans. Yeah, he, he said, yeah. he, he, said uh, he literally just yeah. yeah, the bottom half sitting there with their dick in her hand. Listen, and I let it all go. Defending Bobby. No, but I think you're just defending. You're fucking afraid to take a side. No, not afraid. You're afraid to take no, a side. It's just being 100% genuine and honest. I was. I was 100% genuine and honest. I'm talking about me. I thought you said, well, he's not funny. So I just wanted to go in there. And I, said he's, the one. I said he's not a good comedian. Bad comedians can make the crowd laugh. Do you think Bobby's a good comedian? Yes. He's not a remarkable one. This is why some of us fucking sit behind a desk and talk into a mic for a living. This is why we do this, because we fucking can discuss this stuff. But you can't lie to these people. You're good at what you do, Carl. I didn't lie to anybody. I know you, you because you couldn't. Oh, I'll do it again. Okay. Let's see if you can lie to him again. All right. Is Bobby a good comedian? He didn't lie to anybody. Yes. There you go. He wouldn't look at you. He, he is Bobby's beef with Chrissy Von Eric is simply that right when uh, Aaron was leaving, Aaron wanted to do a streaming uh, thing of the show we were doing. I, I think it was a Philly. And Bobby, who knows he's not that good a comedian, and they, they, like the reason he knows is because he fucking had just moved up to New York, finally got a place, and rather than fucking hang out at the clubs, he sat there fucking trying to, he's like, I'm going to partner up with Aaron Berg and make money in streaming stuff, rather than hang out at clubs. And then when Chrissy said, I don't want you streaming my stuff, and Anthony agreed, Bobby felt like she was taking money out of his pocket and called her an unfunny cunt on my, at my desk, and I gave him shit for it. And that's all he ever did. So all he ever did was bitch about stuff because he thinks he's funnier than people and does nothing to get funny, period, let alone funnier than people. Agree, 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 agree. Well, here's, it's, here's how you're on. It's like, Derek, five bucks, thank you. Love Steve and the dump. Bobby never once made me laugh. Ungrateful piece of garbage. Without a doubt. It's not hard to fucking see it, people. Fucking not hard to fucking see it. I just can't be bothered with that shit. Okay, we got the junkie. Wait. But again, it's like, I don't mind you fuck like, and the beauty of fucking compound media is whenever I have a problem, I bring, like, that's another reason I would get shit, because when people did shit that I didn't like, I'd call them out on air. I'd say, come out and talk about it. Bobby would just fucking run. He's like, Gino fucking waits till I leave. I shit on him one time on air, fucking the day every called Casino Funny Cook, he just sat there moping at the desk, and Steve's like, Steve's like, yeah, that upset him. And I'm like, you're right. And Steve didn't say, Gino, that upset him, back off. He's like, Gino, that upset him. And I'm like, you're right, Steve. And I don't want to make things difficult for Steve because Steve's got his show, which is so fucking good. And now without Bobby, it's like a weight's been lifted from around his neck. And it's 10 times funnier. 20 because multiply by another 10 with Luby. And Garrett's on more because he Garrett would fucking stay away because Bobby fucking uh, would get all defensive when, it, when Garrett would hang out with Steve, which is comedy fucking even as seen by the Garrett Steve logo. Jesus Christ. Bobby is, the, Bobby is the comedy as Opie is the politics. Thanks for the two bucks, uh, 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 Banner Patrice. Sorry I'm so bad at reading these because the fucking font is small and I don't have thicker glasses. Bobby, oh, five dollars, thank you. Five dollars from fucking O. Thompson. Excuse me. Producer Roberto Thompson. Bobby was a four. He would bring in on water and screeching all faster than things ever did. That's the other thing. Every character he did, he was angry and yelling. And one time he goes, well, it was going to be a good joke before you cut me off. And the oh, final... I remember st- that fight. And I said, what are you doing? And the final straw, whether he realized it or not, we shouldn't say straw because Steve is too fucking nice. But when fucking Bobby was all ready to do a bit, because when you're on radio as a fucking 
as a as a fucking second chair to your host, fucking Steve. And you're like, I'm gonna do a funny bit, and Steve says one thing, and you're like, you're trying to get mad because you want to shoehorn in your hat. And Steve's like, oh, okay. So me and Keanu were watching it die. So uh, so you're not a pedophile? And he kept calling him a pedophile. And Bobby got so mad, so much so that I think Bobby might be a pedophile. Producer Roberto Thompson, he would bring in hot water screeching all faster than figs ever did. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. I just can't deal with the fucking lack of gratitude. And he fucking and if you don't know what ungrateful is, it's a guy like me taking you fucking all over to their shit gigs, but everywhere I can, giving you first dibs. And then you turning on me, turning on fucking my fiance, fucking taking pictures of me like, yeah, the place is empty. Fucking stabbing people in the back. He's, he's fucking, and you get what you deserve. You get what you fucking deserve. New Jersey. Oh, you have a driver's license. Mm -hmm. So you could, like, if I had a gig, you could drive me. <laughs> if I got 30 minute middle. Why did you ever mention that? I, I should have. This is his driver's license. You didn't freak out like I was going to show you your address. It's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's good stuff. We have the gate. <laughs> oh. I had a come visit me. Stancil in the gay guy on the boat bit is the absolute best clip. It really is. That is uh that is Lucy Tania. <laughs> Show the ID. I did producer Roberto. Stop it. Uh, we are just over half an hour yes. from the fabulous super race. That was, in so mad, you got mad at me. I was never mad at you. You were so when was I mad? When I you thought I was defending Bobby? I'm not mad at you. I get frustrated because I think fucking you're not getting what I'm saying, and it's oh, important. I get it. No, uh, I've never talked about it publicly, but privately, Bobby fucked me over. You're lying. No. Okay. So I'm not talking about it publicly, but talk about it now. No. Why? Because I'm just saying. What's I it? Talk about the time I fucked you over. Never. Talk about the time. Uh, let me talk about the time you fucked me over. Well, Stop. that. Oh, yeah. Pick up on that. Okay, cool. Tell me about the time Bobby fucked you over. I don't want to tell you. Okay, let me be general and generic about it. Okay, so I want Watch this. I'll do this. Is that you? Uh... I just. I, he was he committed to be a part of something, and then he just sort of like. Let's just leave it at that. I will not leave it at that. I can't leave it at that. You, you've got to go to the final four games or something. I cannot leave it at that. Are you kidding me? I need more. Um, well, um... Shout out to Andrew Herbert who throws 50 bucks for gas. Andrew thank Herbert, you, Andrew. Who is the spinning image of Nelson Peabody. Why don't we go now? Because you don't need to weigh me in. So just tell me, the, tell me the vagaries of it again. Goodness, look how those trees are depleted of the trees. Sure. That's cool. Oh, yeah. What are they? No, 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 no. <laughs> just so he said he would do something for yes. you. Yes, not for me, with me. It was an uh, 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 Oh, then he did you a favor. Adventure. Well, yeah. You a favor no, you're right. With you. You're right. It's just, it's 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 its own fucking worst nightmare. Like it really is. Like you, you reap what you sow. Wherever you run, it's yourself. You'll face well, that. No, you do reap what you sow. He shot himself in the foot. Right. Well, we got on the stage, made fun of Chrissy's dumb line or whatever. Yeah. He took about four shots. Where was straight that? Straight at his foot and hit on the dump. I was in that day. Do you remember there were like Carl? Why aren't you coming on the dump? Do you remember that? Like Carl wouldn't come on the dump. I'm glad I did it because he. Because you don't want to be seen next to the guy. No, that, yeah. that's not why. But it's he, you know, committed suicide on that show. So I'm glad oh, no, he did. Away of he it. didn't commit suicide. He almost survived that until fucking a couple people fucking said he's got to go. And Anthony's like, he's done. I'm told. Maybe not Anthony. Maybe now I'm speaking out of school. I don't know that for sure. But all I know is like. I didn't think he was gone, and I made peace with him. Let me tell you something. I hugged it out. I'm like, I'm done. Well, I did I've said my that. peace on the air. I Like I do all the time. Said my peace on the air. Fucking, and everything I've ever said, unlike Kevin Brennan, that little faggot who does it for attention, I mean it. I mean it. Derek. Where's Derek? Uh, Derek, him bitching about the broken chair shit thing on the company. I don't know what that is. Um, 
there was a um, chair that would swivel right or something, and he made a big deal about it. He said this place is a chair. Oh, yeah. The chair. Oh, by the way, it was the chair that he sat in at the desk when he was fucking uploading the uh, morning, which was always fucking late. Because when he, and that's the thing that always galled me the most, and I was right. When fucking he wasn't answering the phones, I'm like, because the only thing worse than him at the desk, than him in the studio trying to be funny, when we did it, it's a guaranteed, it's just e -Rock gave him shows called Bobby's World, and they were yeah. always so bad. I'm sure he got mad at me one time, like, Bobby, you're not ready to sit at this desk. You're not. Like, like you, you could be a son. And he got mad. And fucking, he, oh, and when he fucking filled it for Steve for a week, it just played that shit. I'm going to make that my intro next week on In All Water. Fucking the intro from the dump, the week he filled it for Steve. Because fucking Bobby is done. Done. You never see him on a stage in New York. Done. Gina, how about you? I've done them all. I've done them all. Fucking yeah, the broken chair. Good call, Garrett. Thank you for elucidating on that, Carl. Elucidating? Is it? Uh, no, it's elucidating, making it clear, but it's not elucidating on it. What's the word I'm looking for? Expanding on, but that's not the word. Like you elucidate, yeah, I know you make it saying. clear, but that you don't elucidate on it. Expanding on it, but I think there's another there's word. A word that, I yeah, that I'm not saying that I can't think of. It's just that I want to know it's important enough yet. I'll check. Compound is still 20% off, buddy. Hold on. I'll put the thing up. I think it's compound 20 now. I think the new fucking code is... Elaborate. Uh, yeah. By the way, I'll do this right now. Watch. I think the code... You can still see me, right, guys? Uh, ticker. Comp edit. I'm going to put seam 12 month or compound 20. I'm not sure which one it is. But there you go. Save. It's in the ticker now. There you go. I changed the ticker. But it is still 20% off, buddy. Fucking, and, and I'll say it again. Fucking, I was talking to my big brother, Max Loads, Maximus Loads, about this. And he gets it because he's my age. He's even a little bit older. Yeah, it was Wednesday you watched it on YouTube. Fucking shout out to fucking Garrett Steve for getting that up so quickly. But, uh, what was I going to say? Um, there's just not, like I say it all the time. I was thank you, buddy. I say it all the time, like a broken record. But there's no. Well, I just measuring, but you know, I think I have more space than you, and I think that's just. So I was saying it. I was saying it the other day, like to my brother. It's like you cannot replace the brick and mortar building of in hot water. Like people coming by. Yes. I was going out for a drink afterwards. Right. Fucking fans sitting in the studio. The fucking timing. And even, even fucking, uh, fucking, uh, whatever, whatever Amy's like, I'd love to cut it. It's so good. It's so good. And people will never get that because people are like, oh, it's so much better when we can all talk in the chat. And this is great. Do not misunderstand me. But it's a different show, you know, and you watch, you watch Kevin Brennan's show and it's, it's entertaining. I'm not going to lie to you if you're into that, but it's just fucking people like talking to each other and, and, and fucking paying to have Kevin Brennan read it. And let me tell you, continue Kevin Brennan, but that is not fucking the Letterman I grew up watching. That is not Carson. That is not Stern. It's not Obi and Anthony. That is not what they did. And I still like this. I still like showing up every day with Garrett Steve and fucking Carl when he's there and Chrissy when she pops by and whatever Amy and Stancil, of course, and creating funny fucking content that we're afforded with that freaking order fucking building. And I never. I'm proud to say, and, and, and you can call me up here, I've never taken that for granted. Never taken that for granted. I show up every day like a goddamn kid in a candy store. Goddamn kid. Compound rules. MLC is exhausting. Well said, uh, Bob Vanderbilt. Yeah, Brennan show is a boring repetitive money grab. That's what it is. And I'll tell you, like, the, the only thing worth watching in the Dabbleverse that makes it like that, that that's entertaining. And I'm not saying it's not worth watching, Kevin, if you're into that. But Kooky is so fucking funny the way he makes fun of them. He makes fun of them in a funny way. He fucking he made fun of, he did the Gino impersonation. He oh, did Brennan. Guy? Yeah. He does a he does two key, he does two key mask, which is he puts a ski mask on the puppet and he just kicks me and goes, Oh my pancreas, yo, we're OGs. It is 
It is so, I can't stand it. I really it. thought it was you in Atlantic City when I saw the stills. I was like, oh, I'm right, Gina did go down. Oh, I'm, I, I'll say it for the 90th and not last time. Keanu showed me, uh, uh, and I'm hungover. We pulled over my, is that, is that me? Did they? <laughs> and then did, he, I not, did I black out? Did I black out? And then he did a fucking impersonation of me. And he was daddy. Carl, stop amazing. drinking so much water unless you're trying to summon Waterman, says down here. <laughs> It's carbonated. Waterman's not coming from seltzer. ACDC 5150. Got it. Disagree. The Duke is funny. Oh, well, well, you're wrong, but I would discuss that any day of the week. Like, it's subjective, it's subjective but I lose my mind. I, I wish Gina was a vegetable. Shut up, Joe. Jose Wait, you mean like broccoli? Uh, Jake Wan G says enough of the puppets and vegetables. Jake Wan G thinks Duke is. I disagree, man. I love Tukey. Oh, this guy. Oh, is he the one in his chance. desk is the orange? Go ahead. No, no, that's uh, okay. He's, okay, okay. he's his sidekick, but he's a piece of shit. Wait, okay, but it's that show. Yeah. Okay, that show is the... The orange is the one that goes, uh, actually, that lives in the same town, or he lives near our dear friend Ray DeVito. So funny. And, that uh, must be annoying, orange. Oh, it's insane. It's insane, but he's like, yeah, he's like, that's just going to suck a bunch of... Uh, what do you mean? I've seen the I'll video. say it again, guys. Has. And I sent the picture to fucking Melton, but he doesn't talk about it. I just keep telling Melton, I'm like, hey, Melton, you know, uh, April 5th, I'm terrified because the, uh, the, uh, the order of protection that I begged Thanks for, fire. that I just sat there clutching in court. Oh, uh, I would love to fucking be in the same room as fucking Pat Okay, I like just want to clear something up. You can up, say a and I am, but I'm saying. Okay. Let's talk about the definition of sucker punch. If you're looking straight at a person and they hit you, that can still be a sucker punch. If it's completely unexpected, you're the sucker. We know that, yeah. No, but a lot of people don't know that. Like, fact, you didn't can, sucker punch everyone me. Everyone knows what it, if you square up, you either square up with someone or you don't. You either walk up to someone and, like, if Mike Dixon had walked up to me and stopped right there and been like, Mom, let's go. Hey, then I'm fucking, uh, I'm on my heels. But when I go to hug a guy and he walks in smiling, he's yes. a fucking piece of shit that I am not done with. I'm not done with him. Your arms were out wide to hug him. Yep. And he cracked you at the jaw. Yeah. And then he stood there going, Jesus Christ, what did I just do? And left. And, you know, ran across the street and fucking expected Anthony. And, and then he goes, he still to this day's like, well, you know, we were supposed to sit down for a meeting, but when someone doesn't show up, like, he literally thought I was going to go and fuck him. We were going to hug. Oh. You're in the I would love to fucking crack him in his faggot fucking face. Ben? I would. You're the hero here. I'm not the hero. I'm just a guy. Oh, you're the victim. I'm not, I'm not the victim. We got victimized. Nope. We will be hungover for the ride home. I'm just it a guy saying what I'd like. Daniel Green says tomorrow morning in the in their hotel room it'll be the scene from plane trains and automobiles and the pillows. <laughs> no, that was not that was a pillow. That was a pillow. Those are pillows. Uh, it is going to be. That's going to be. Jesus Christ again! Fucking thank God. Twenty God. minutes to this hotel. This it's works starting to her. get dark. Yeah, it's getting dark and shitty. This was the right fucking call. Thank you, universe. It's my mother saying you're not driving through that shit. Let's fucking. It's too perfect. Jose Pantalones, why did you fight back, Gino? Because I'm a because he was laying on the ground. Are you kidding me? No, I saw the footage. I didn't fall to the ground. Oh, well, I, I was I shocked. I was shocked that someone could be so fucked up on drugs. But Jose, whatever. Because I, Jose, because I was unconscious and I was crying. Fucking unbelievable. But this, if you whatever you need. And this is, by the way, this is also, where'd it go? Fucking, I lost the comment. She's great. Jose, I lost you, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, but this is what you get. Guys like Jose that are like, they think like, yeah, this is, oh, it's still up. But it's like, well, you don't understand. Like, fucking where we come from. Stop it. Where you come from, no one knows. Because you sit in the chat room fucking talking about a guy that's fucking fagged out in Tennessee now. And he fucking, he literally goes, I can't go to AC because Gino's there. That was a lie. That was, he's like, yeah, I can't. And he literally goes, I can't be in the same chat if Gino's in it. How dumb are people like Jose Pantalones. And I'm going to tell you, you know, let's see, but that's not his real fucking name. Yes, but, Jose, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I can't spend more time with you, but I'm driving to Sydney, Nova Scotia to hang out with a friend of mine while hanging out with friends of mine. 
something fucking what's his name would never do because he's a broke fucking bitch. Shout out fucking uh, Matthias Wigglehelm. I love that name. Bro, when he hit you and you flew over the bar and he broke all the bottles, so epic. That is a remake of the movie. I was so upset. Because, and he's lying. He hit me and I fell onto the bar. And then Pat Fix, if you remember, it was like an old Western, uh, Marcus. And he grabbed me and just slid me down the bar and then fucking threw me out the fucking, uh, the, uh, the, what are the what are the doors? The yeah, fucking the swinging. the swinging doors. Matthias gets it. Pat walked out like a cuck bitch after the sneak shot. Yeah, he could have stood there and waited to see if you wanted to play, but he did. He just went. He, and I'll say it again. It's not done with him. He's so gonna. I know he's gonna fuck up this other. He's he groomed this fucking hideous looking. Gotta forget her fucking ass. She's so fucking gross. And I, I know she's going to get a crack in the mouth. Driving tomorrow, Luke Chainbank. Thank you. New Avatar, my man. Wait, he's driving. What is he saying? Enjoy is right, but. Is he driving to Sydney? No, no. He's telling me to drive a little bit. I told him to <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I'm just trying to make Chino's life easier. Tomorrow, he'll be driving because it's a double stretch. Double. Oh, speaking of double stretch. No, 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 no. Not a thing. When will the remaster footage and make it color in 4K? It's a good question, Marcy Playground. But I fucking, uh, and, and, and uh, he's just, he's such a weasel and I love it. And, and fucking the chick, the chick that fucking, he did it in front of, she literally went on Kevin Brennan, the uh, Axl Rose chick, and she's like, she's like, yeah, he wasn't flirt with me. And then Adam, who's, who fucking didn't get out of uh, fucking uh, the dabble versus MLC in time. His reputation is just shit. He's just a fucking weasel that will do anything to please Master Kevin. He's like, well, I think it was a lot of other stuff going on before that. No, it's everything I've been saying every day since. Moose, next 17 miles. For the next 17 miles, we could see a moose. Let's hope. Or peace if there's two. I hate pieces to pieces. <laughs> I, I would say we could try to show it. See if you could show everybody out here. They can see it. Imagine how much piss poor Pat is now without his YouTube money. I'm bummed about that because I fucking when I sue him, I'm gonna get that money from him. You know? But no, he had to fucking fuck that up too. Fucking yeah. And that's another thing, these facts like fucking Jose Pantalonas will never fucking realize. Like a real man fucking says, I'll pay for this, Pat. I'll pay for it until you can fucking pay. And, and don't get me wrong, I don't mean that in a nice way. It's like Pat's flat broke. They're like, you can't sue him. He's fucking broke. He was 10 months behind on his rent. Garnish his wages. Fucking, he doesn't have wages. And watching him fucking just lie to himself every day is a fun fucking treat, treat for me. Yeah, Felicia's another one. She's in the chat. Hi, Felicia. She literally went on Kevin like Brennan. Her. And she, you know, she was she, at Scott's. And Kevin's like, well, and she's just been like, no. Pat fucking hit Chino because he was on Adderall. But she didn't. They, she fucking hedged her fucking bet. That's fine. I understand you want that Kevin Brennan money, but Jose Pantalone has one way to find out, dude. One way to find out, but you've got nothing to do with it because you're a fake fucking avatar. <laughs> Jose's done. He's just another guy that's like, oh, just why don't you fucking go see him? Chino got the haze. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. What's that mean? She forgot the haze. It's not that, oh, it's all haze. Is it hose? You know, got the hose. That's Maybe a daddy that's joke. A... Oh my god. Von Eric, that picture is waiting at Dooley's for you. You're going to get that punched when you walk in the door, Frankie. Say you up. It's a fucking setup, man. Goddamn setup. Yeah, part of it. I'm going to be the video. Uh, Jake Watt G in the hizzy. 15 minutes to the hotel. Excuse guys. me. My lost interest in the hizzy. Shouting at the gym. Make sure you follow my lost interest. He put the clip up. Or actually, that might have been Misery Loves Clips. Oh, uh, I love Chino. Like it's great pussy. Uh, you be stupid loves Chino. Uh, there you go. That's why. Yeah, I cannot recommend enough. If you want to watch the Dabble verse without losing hours and hours of your life, my lost interest has done the work for you, my yeah, man. He's fucking great. He's great. We always sing your praises. 
Shout out to my lost interest. Make sure you follow this fucking man on the YouTube. On the YouTubers. Uh, this is a long fucking slog, man. 15 to 14 minutes. <laughs> Start drinking. Jesus, I gotta call my wife before I drink. That's fine by me, Careful of the cops going into Bangor. They have speed traps coming in. Thank you, Cliff. Let's fucking, let's fucking go. Okay. We'll kneel it out. Thank you, Cliff. Oh, I was reading fucking Captain Miserable. I'm 70 and I'm going 70. Yeah, well, that's, I'm a that's good then. Captain Jesus. I think he pronounced this Jesus H. Christ because he capitalized the H in the C. It could be. I'm sick of all these old guys who want to fight him, but John challenges everyone. He would die trying to hit a heavy bag. I agree. Uh, and this isn't me challenging him to a fight. This is me just saying, fucking, I'd love to be in the same room with him because I'd love to just watch him fucking act awkward. I used to hit the heavy bag all the time, but uh, but it's not polite to call my wife. Oh, this guy gets Carl looks like Frankie's dad. I, you should check me out on SoundCloud, dude. I've got some really mediocre material. Check it out. <laughs> uh, my lost interest makes clips before the shows are even over. He's gold. You said it, Gina Marie. Uh, there you go. Just the elderly, too. Canadian drift. Uh, there you go. Look, Jake Wong. Oh, no, wrong one. ACDC 5150. Had to be said. Banger, I hardly even knew her. Am I right, Carl? <laughs> We were acquaintances. Uh, Captain, thank you. There's guys who fight, guys who don't, says Joey Dago. These guys don't, and it's sad. Yeah, they're all fucking pussies. And fucking... And not Jose. Fucking not Jose Pantalones. And what was I going to say? And Jack Dixon, who's the biggest piece of shit ever, he hits women, and then he got away with it so long, he walked in and hit me, like, which no one expected. No one expected. And I even went through this with fucking, I forget who it's like, uh, I think it was Steve Blue, it's like, well, what? They're like, well, the thing. There was like the thing. I'm like, what was the thing I did? Well, you know, he had his girl on. So what? I had her on one time. Yeah, but you were what? Never talked to her before. It's like, yeah, but there was that thing before that. Shut up. Pat Dixon fucking thinks he's a there tough is guy. No and he's way a little bitch. You deserve to get your jaw broken. How's it going, buddy? It's, uh, it's, by the way, uh, Luke Chang says, I bet Carl's a bad motherfucker if you piss him off. Actually, if you piss me off, I really, if I'm angry, yeah, I will, and I don't fight like there. William Sr., 734, that's how I read that, WMSR, 734. What is even up with Frankie's father? We're never sure. Maybe we'll meet him, but I don't know. Uh, by the way, Cliff Lowy says he'll take us to some souvenir shops in Cape Breton. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. Jason Lynch, Boston. Gino, can you please ask the gentleman why he suggested packing galoshes for the topless bar up here? <laughs> I got a Cino to fucking spend on Carl at that place. So good. How many until how many until Moose Iraq can be spotted? How many miles, I guess it means? Well, I guess it's 12 miles left. If we see a moose, we'll let a moose. Carl is deadly with a mic. That's pretty good. You should have had the mic up front. So I oh, yeah, that would have been safe. Hi, Jim. Oh, there you go. I don't know what senior SRFR. Carl rules. Oh. Someday I'll be drinking. Oh, it was, Miles. I knew it. What's that? 12 minutes from now, I'm going to be drinking. Really? You're going to drink right there? In the fucking parking lot before we check. 22 minutes from now, I'm going to be drinking. That's your plan. That's your plan. Didn't you curse Were you dating Keanu and Pat Dixon? Hey, you do. No, I was not. Before. That was yeah. way before. In fact, I was, uh, what was I doing with Pat uh, I was fucking, uh, oh, apparently. No, I wasn't really. I think I was, uh, I was, I was banging scowly face off and on in LA, but we, we were off back then. Thank oh yeah, listen. I've been fucking Keanu off and on many years before that, but we talked about this, Andrew, when Keanu saw the footage of me getting hit, like she was so fucking upset. I'm like, this girl really likes me, and that's when we started dating. It's really neat. So I always use that as a, you know, fucking everything happens for a reason. Thank you, man. What is Scally Face's true name? Um Lacey. Okay, I don't know. 
she's in LA. That's probably why. Maybe she's in Buffalo. That's where she's from, and the eclipse goes through there. We we are fucking one mile south of Carmel and Winterport. Thank you, GPS. Seabox, Carl, where's your whistle? I have it, right? Captain Miserable says, I didn't know Carl before this. He's fucking awesome. I can't believe he can put up with Chino in a car this long. Fucking he didn't know even me. More tomorrow. Watch even more tomorrow. <laughs> you happy, Seabox? Yeah. Right, let me do something for him. Okay, hold on, hold on. Go on. Don't faint because you're fucking lightheaded from this. So good. I try to make the buzzy noise. Mr. Wither Plunkin, I'll tell you what, we're 10 minutes outside of a hotel in Banger. I can assure you that, buddy. 10 minutes. Again, thank you guys for hanging. Carmel Winterport. Now, do you want to try and stream the whole fucking ride tomorrow? I don't know. You're the in charge. I mean, and by stream, I just mean have this on while we ride. You're Makes the queen easy. of stream. If that's what you want, Makes we'll do it easy. It. It's easy. At for least me. there's something to focus on instead of the boring road. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So or we'll we can do do listen to a podcast or whatever. But we're definitely streaming tomorrow. It's just a matter of when we start. Like I don't know if I want to go from six a.m. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking when you said early, it would be like we'd wake up at 8 a.m. Okay. and get going. Okay, yeah. Whatever, dude, whatever time works for you. From 8 a.m., from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., it's 12 hours. And it won't take us 12 hours to get there. Take me. We'll probably roll in there. Hold on, people. Watch this. I'm just going to Google Sydney Holiday Inn from where we are now. Hopefully, this can. I don't know how much time. Hey, Jason, are you still? Hey, guys, how are you? Are you still? By the way, it's so much easier like this. Look at this. We'll roll in there around 6 p.m. or so. If we get up at 9. If we drive at 9, is my math right? What's the line in that game, Reeves Uppercut? So, wait, so what What do you mean? So, 9 o'clock? 6 p.m., we would arrive at the hotel. If we leave at 8? Yeah, no, 9. If we leave at 9, yeah, we fucking 9 to 9 minus 3 is 6. All right, so maybe we target 8 a.m., but I was thinking, like, if I wake up at 8 a.m., But I you understand. Yeah. We want to, because we have the trip. What time is Frankie getting to the thing? I'll have our boy Cliff look it up. I'm assuming, like, at 8 p.m. sort of thing. If you want to get there earlier, like 6, we won't be able to make it. Oh, uh, by the way, thanks for the 20, Bob, fan of Patrice. Here's some gas money. Thank you, Carl, for driving. And he also said Keanu's a sweetie pie. Oh, banger! There you go. I'm here. What was I just gonna ask, Cliff? Cliff, do we know what time fucking Frankie is getting to fucking? Uh, what time is Dooley's? Gino is risen. Get over here. What's ten and a half? Oh, the line's ten and a half. Maybe I'll put some money on Bama just because I like fucking. It'll give me something to do. So, um. The feed didn't cut out. I'm sorry, buddy. It cut out because I was like checking a map thing. I'm back, by the way. Go on, buddy. Maybe we should uh, message Frankie and, and set an appointment. Like, we'll see you at 8 p.m. We'll see you at 9 p.m. Well, trust me, we have all day to do that tomorrow. Not to fucking worry about it today. Okay. But, I, but I'm telling you, I'd like to fuck you. We're, we're just going to. It's a lot. But, you know, it is what it is. There's two of us driving, you know, and fucking. It's not like we can't sleep in the car with the other guy, you know? Fucking whatever, so maybe we do that, but whatever. Today's a fucking good day, fucking. We're seven minutes away from the end of leg one. Uh, two man Mike said it perfectly. This guy's been fun. I can't thank everyone who's been super chatting us enough. Fucking pay for our pill and our gas. Just get done. Fucking YouTube's making a little money. I'm sure, they're happy about that. Yeah, that's how it works. That's why they put that's how the universe works. That's how the YouTube works. Don't you think that's a little excessive? What? 30% even a loan shark. No, you know what's excessive? 
forty percent fucking income tax. That's excessive. You know, and fucking, it's not going to be long before. Why is it at fifty? Why is it at sixty? There should be no income tax. Fucking, we pay taxes on everything. Who the fuck did they buy the earth from that they can tax our land? Who the fuck? They tax everything, and now they spend. They used to have war bonds. I didn't know this because if people bought war bonds, that would fund us going to war. The people would say, "I want to go to war." Fucking Congress decides who we go to fight with now and how we spend our money for that fight. Fuck these people. And it's both fucking sides. It's both fucking sides. Sides, excuse me. Fucking, I don't care. I have to tell you, Kino, that last year was the first year that I had a serious case of money for taxes. And this year, they've done it to me again. Right. What changed? Who's in office? What changed? Those that might be a landfill. Take a look. What's that? That might be a landfill, right? I don't know. Five minutes to the hotel. There you go, buddy. There you go, guys. So put up your thick forget. There's my Venmo. Venmo Gino Bisconti. Ew. Venmo Gino Bisconti for gas money for the Prius. There you go. There you go. Is See everyone happy? We are. There's only three left. I'm sure we're going to spend 40 bucks. There you go, Fitzy. We should probably. I was going to say. Yeah. If there's gas, like when we get off before their hotel, we should fill up there. Sure. Yeah, we would just get going. But then again, maybe we get a morning coffee, whatever. But breakfast at the hotel is included. Thank you for that idea, Fitzy. You can do that later. She wants to know why is Gina worried about income tax? He has no income. Oh, 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 there you go. Again, there you go. Uh, she already gave me two bucks for the souvenir bag of trash for Steve. I do. I have to bring Steve. I'm bringing Steve some of the trash. I have to. That is such a good callback, Gina. That is such a good callback. Fucking, he went through Italy, brought me a bag of trash. Uh, Andrew Kersey, Gino has, is and has always been on. It's extremely rare nowadays. Thank you, Andrew Kersey. Gino is. I don't care. See? <laughs> is that what he says? Uh, I that's a, a red bar song. I that song on YouTube and I found a bad Oh, it is so if funny. You got that song. We should. Yeah, that should be your thing. Oh, uh, no. I just like it because uh, fucking these guys, like the red bar thing, like red bar is. All these guys are red bar spoons, you know, like fucking Melton. You know what I mean? And good and like what I always make fun because when Red Bar first fucking took came after us, I just started doing it in hot water. I'm like, what is this? I got all pissed off. It was hilarious. And then I realized this is just what people do, you know? And now I fucking say Red Bar is the fucking king. Fucking Red Bar has fucking people that still he takes all their money. He does nothing but act relevant. And fucking don't get me wrong, like that's what he does. And people are like, okay. And fucking, they all want to be him, and these guys all are like, "This guy's great. I love it. He does nothing." Santo also says butter on lobsters for savages. Says the guy who eats garbage. So far, T gun, no gig tonight. T gun, sorry. Yeah, I tried to make that. If you're talking about comedy, I tried to keep it cool, Gino. You guys seem to make. Seem to be making so much money driving around. I fear you're going to have a Ben Bailey arc. You know, I was the fucking runner up for that show, but I was never in the running, to be honest. T at Scott, are you sure the Canucks are going to like you across the border? That's a very good question. With a T. With a T. So funny. Turn around, Carl. What? What's behind? No, no. We're three minutes away from the destination. Wait, what's it say? You should have stopped at this park for directions. I don't get that one. Do you? 
Uh, that make this this. No, I uh, Luke Chain Man, I can't. I can't believe you actually went to Frankie for the Eclipse People's Champ. We take care of our own. People don't get what fucking loyalty is anymore. Don't get me wrong, you guys do, but it's just the right thing to do. I can't believe it fucking came upon us this quickly, but it did, and here we are. Oh, Carl S. Triple A. We are not three minutes. Concrete Pete, where you been all day, my man? You got it. Cliff, you've seen what I said from Frankie, 6.15 p.m. tomorrow night. Oh, I didn't. Show everybody what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Let me, take the, let me take the... Cliff, uh, send me a text. So we're meeting you at the Chills... Oh, God, forgive me. Should we get gas? We now? should get gas now because it's right here and it makes it that much easier. Okay. Don't you think? Make a right. Yeah, make it right here. Um, Cliff, so, so we're supposed to meet at Dooley's at six fifteen. Sounds like Ooh, that's a little early. Uh, maybe we better yeah. be we like push seven a.m. Yeah, but or we could just tell Frankie eight fifteen. Cliff, is it pop? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what yes. are we doing? Yes, it's a late day. Cliff, how hard would it be? GPS, use your brain. We're getting gas. Cliff, how hard would it be to fucking t uh, convince Frankie that we don't want to... I'm going to put it on me while you're doing this. It's okay. I have my shoes on. Cliff, how hard would it be to convince Frankie, you know, that we... Uh, gas. Gas. I love Carl Gino. You're all right, too. Uh, some hot chick named Kristen says, I love Carl Gino. You're all right, too. Uh, I mean, would it be hard to fucking tell him 815? <laughs> Tina looks like they're about to rob the Federal Reserve. Stop it. Oh, who's in here? Hold on. Cliff is back. Thank you. All right, Cliff, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, buddy. Oh, the car's not running. I can hear you great. So you're saying, and thank you for reaching back out. So you're saying Frankie wants to meet at Dooley's at 615? Literally, I just talked to him one minute ago. He said 615, but He's partying right now at Dooley's and the music's loud, so it's hard to talk. Here's the thing. This is hilarious to me, Cliff, because you understand, like, he sends us videos from Dooley's at fucking midnight, 12.15 my time. That's 1.15 your time, right? Uh, it's an hour uh, ahead of you guys, yeah. Yeah. So he wants to, so, like, I'm thinking, like, all right, Frankie, we'll meet you at 6.15. And what time are we done? 10? Frankie's going to want to go all night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's on coke. Is he on meth? Love you, John. I don't Del. even know why he said six fifteen, but I could tell him anytime, and he'll be good with it. So oh, you there you go, me, Carl. You our get boy in, get settled in your hotel. If you want to meet yeah. at eight or nine o'clock at Dooley's? I'll go. I'll call him right now and tell him. Let's say eight or nine o'clock our time. Our time yeah. Here. Tell him that. Tell we him can like make it eight because we'll arrive around. But we six. might want to make it nine because we're gonna lose an hour. Do you understand? Nine o'clock their time is eight o'clock our time right now. Is there any way you could call him on Facebook Messenger while you're on this thing? Probably not, eh? That is there probably, but no, no, I doubt. Like you could probably do it on a laptop, but I know I can't do it here. But he uh, he sent our buddy Nelson Peabody uh, an Instagram video. Excuse me, a, a Facebook Messenger video saying I'm hanging out with Gino and Carl tomorrow night, which is great. Yeah. Um, oh, but he's definitely, all pumped for it. Let's meet in the middle. Tell him eight thirty, which is your time. Tell him we'll meet him eight thirty tomorrow night because we've got a long drive. Because we, uh, thank God, we stopped. It's fucking getting shitty and messy, and it's going to be clear tomorrow, Knockwood. Right? Oh, that yeah. was. You good guys Gino. Good. I don't know how New Brunswick is. You guys are going to be driving all the way through New Brunswick, and they got mm. stormed on pretty bad. But I think their highway system's pretty good. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, like I, I was saying that to my brother because you know he was asking. I'm like, I'm like, the, the, they're like my fucking when I'm in Salt Lake, when I'm in Utah, and they're getting dumped on for some reason. No problem getting to any of the resorts. Like they, and I'm like, I'm sure they moved in Canada as well. I was in fucking Portland, Oregon, that shithole. The one time they had a snowstorm, fucking almost missed Christmas because oh, we can't salt the roads. It gets to the, you stupid fucking yeah. granola crunching faggots. Speaking of which. Carl, everyone. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <don't you> <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell Frank. He's a good guy. Thanks, so, dude. I'm looking forward to meeting you, and thank you for yeah, the tour. And you know what? Fuck Bobby. He was boring as shit. He really was. <laughs> he was miserable. Uh, tell Frankie eight thirty. Okay. 
All right. I will. I'm I'm also, more importantly, ask, him awesome. ask him how late we're hanging out tomorrow night. See what he says. I will. I'll text it to you. You're the man, buddy. Late. See you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Push-ups with $2 says, can you bring the morning the morning CIA back? Oh, the morning CIA guy back. Jesus Christ. Bob Baker. God, I'll, I'll see. I would love that. David Carpenter, where you been with two bucks? Don't forget to lose your headband. Your, don't forget to lose an hour. You're heading into Canada. Jesus Christ, that's exactly what I just said. Thank you, buddy. So it's you know, like 8.30. 8.30 his time is 7.30 our time, you know? So we're going to fucking end. But the other question I said is ask Frankie how long fucking... Because Frankie, I was saying this. I don't know if you heard me or you were... Frankie literally will send me videos at 12.30 my time. That's 1.30 in the morning. He's partying at Dooley's. Okay, so it probably won't be a problem to stay kind of late. Well, it's not just that. It's like, well, how, how hard does this guy fucking party? You can alcohol, you can party pretty hard. Party and party. It's about sleep deprivation only then. Now, how much did the uh, did we put in this time? I put in $20. It really? was about $3.20 for a gallon. I'm back on full. That's amazing. Yeah, this Prius is the way to go. You yeah. can shit on a Prius, go ahead. But when you're taking a long trip. Yeah, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. You know why I have this Prius? Because it costs me one dollar my my mother gifted it to me because oh. she knew the, the kids it was time to drive that's so cute i gifted uh my aunt Olga used to drive my mother around all the time because my mother never had a driver's license so we just sold her the like and it was a nice car a blue lincoln Continental. we sold it to Olga for a dollar but that's what you do yes that's what you do family fucking takes care of family oh uh, look at this we're fucking coasting in at dust people coasting in at dust Fucking unbelievable. It's like what is above our head? That's probably 895 we're on. Yeah, fucking concrete beat, Frank. Parties till the GHB wears off. Frankie parties at Dooley's on Pepsi seven and 17 year old slice. <laughs> the sign. Gino got it from Pat. Bam. I love this guy. Um subscribe where, buddy? I don't know what this is saying. Subscribe. Oh, all you subscribe to the YouTube page. Fucking the destination is on your left. So fun. Super eight. Arrived. Now I understand why it was cheap. Keep going. It's right there. The super eight. Don't listen to this. Uh, super eight cleans it. Now I get why because it's fucking in a in, in a strip mall. We're gonna die here. I'm kidding. I'll show you where we're staying so you guys don't worry. If you want to come meet us, look at this. Oh, no, that's not. Right. I'm kidding. There you go. Look at this. Come by. Party. It's just not the law. wants to come meet us. <laughs> oh, park near the orange thing. All right, so look, we have made it. 202, another two hour stream. I'm going to leave this up. It'll go members only in a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll check in from the hotel in like, uh, we'll just do an insta live. I don't know. But I want to say thank you to you guys. Oh, chew. Uh, what was I going to say? I want to thank you to Carl Super. Super 8 is like a Motel 6. Uh, it, yes. It got good reviews. Keep driving, Tom, but we'll keep the light on. Keep reviews. Are we going to scissor? That's obvious. Uh, look at Toolman Mike. Thanks for transporting our Gino safely, Carl. All right. We got to pack up, get the thing, do all that stuff. We will bug you guys later. But uh, hold on. Take that down. Thank you so much. Gino and Carl out, people. It's gone members only in an hour. Sorry. One more time. Just, no.